For the last year, we've been telling you about the viral challenge targeting certain Kia and Hyundai vehicles, and you can get that flaw fixed, but it appears that many owners still have not done that. Channel 11's Amy Hudak joins us live in the studio with the push to secure these cars. Amy. Yeah, Susan, there are still 77,000 of these affected Kias and Hyundais on the road in Pittsburgh right now. Carfax is now teaming up with both car manufacturers to get the word out about making the fixes before it's too late. We've all seen the viral videos on TikTok of people showing how simple it is to use a USB cable to steal some Kia and Hyundai models in an instant. The fix is free and takes less than an hour, but there are still 5 million Kias and Hyundais on the road that have these major security flaws. That includes nearly 230,000 cars in PA alone, the fourth highest state in the country. Carfax is working with both car manufacturers to inform consumers that they're at risk without the fix. So these cars um, are from 2010 all the way up to 2022, and they not, did not have what's called an immobilizer. Um, and these are only the Hyundai and Kia cars that need an actual key to start. So if you have a push button start, those cars are not affected by that. The solution is a software update to allow the car alarm to last longer and deter thieves and a lock on the steering wheel. And the steering wheel lock means that even if they get the engine started, they can't get the steering wheel to turn and that should deter thieves from taking that car. If you have one of these affected cars, call your dealership. You will not pay a dime. Better to take that small amount of time, get your car fixed than to wind up losing your car for any amount of time. The state of Pennsylvania is just behind California, Florida and Texas when it comes to the number of cars still driven today with those security flaws. Reporting live in the studio, Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.